thinking of it. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> Ward, we built your We're home. Back. We built a home for Peach. Ward. <laughs> I'm imprisoned in concrete, and I'm concerned. This is giving me Minecraft flashbacks of where's the lava? Where's the lava, Jason? <laughs> Start deconstructing. You have a 50-50 chance of making it out without lava. <laughs> um, how big is my house? The house is big. <laughs> it just keeps okay. going. Uh, did you see we all got the little... Uh, oh, I also made uh, sky tubes everywhere. Hooray, you're out of your cage. Uh... That was a big hut. I like this hut. I'm keeping it. Uh, there's not a lot of slow beams in here, considering I've been keeping this thing on for a couple hours. Anyways, we need to finish off this uh, thing. Uh, so over where I was building, we, uh, we have an entire box filled with steel beams and uh, frames. Mm, sweet. Yeah, I definitely didn't optimize the steel beam output over here. Yeah, we need to produce much more steel. So what's that 500 we're still missing on the... Next space thing. I don't know. I'm running around in my little factory cart. There's supposed to be these uh, in these uh, industrial beams, in case it's industrial <laughs> beams. <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're actually damaging me through that. Oh right, my. <laughs> Uh, I, well, I guess that could have actually been uh, damaged from previous. It doesn't heal. I, when I w when it walked up and hit you, I just hear this. Whack. Dunk, yeah. But anyways, Ward, while you were gone last time, we I made an entire... Uh, what is it? Pure iron and coal into steel beams. Okay, awesome. So, so we have an entire box filled of steel beams. Sweet. I also doubled up the uh, the frame crafting, so we have an entire box of those too. Whoa. We need versatile framework, is what we're looking for. There we go. Oh, and they take modular frames and steel beams, so. I forget what I was doing last time. I unlocked two those two um, crash sites on the platforms, but I forgot what I was doing after that. Research, I guess. Because I got hard drives. Right. Yeah, there's a completed uh, hard drive on there right now. I'm over at the reinforced iron plates. I'm not sure where I want to go. Transport systems, just a series of assholes. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I need science. Um, who wants to commit science? What's that? Like he's asking who wants to do science? Followed by silence. Oh, silence. Science. Oh yeah, we needed the uh what were they, girders or something? Two of five hundred there. Remember what we were talking Yeah, we need uh frames, so frames. there's steel beams and uh uh frames, so I was just actually starting to develop deliver some of the stuff over there. Okay. Steamed copper sheets, automated speed wiring, or steel rods? Uh, steel rods. So we How's can that? make four at 48 per minute. Power keeping up well because we're ahead of some of the other crafting. Our production capacity. Max consumption is... Well, our max consumption is over our capacity. How are we for copper sheets? We think we have a big stockpile. So using water would not be okay. Not be efficient. Okay. Yeah, it, it, if it comes to to a point where it's like you're not sure what to pick, just like pick one. Any mini, mini, mo, pretty yeah. much because if well, there's I... nothing that stands out to you. <laughs> Well, I'm wondering about the steel rods. Like, we're using water to make steel rods, aren't we? No, we can. Like, this pattern I'm looking at looks like it produces more. 
that's one ingot for four rods of 48 per minute. That is actually pretty good because it's one for we're, one elsewise. We're right, we're 15 per minute right now, yeah. Okay, I see the standard. Yeah, if you mouse over it, it shows the standard rep speed, which helps. Do we have a shop that... Uh, I don't think we have an assembler yet that can actually accept uh, water into it, though, is a problem. That one does not require water. It's just an alternate um, recipe. Okay. It's just, it's just steel bars to steel rods, but it looks way more efficient. Start up another one. Oh, apparently I... Um, yeah, I have two full crates full of quartz stuff. <laughs> yeah, I kept it on for a few hours, so I just let it run. Oh! Okay, well, I'll just let it sit until we actually need it. <laughs> That's why this thing is full of steel bars and frames. Or steel, uh... Whatever they are. So what science were you doing, Mike? I wanted to see how much damage uh, a player took from explosives. <laughs> Why don't you borrow a warden and figure it out? <laughs> Actually, you can borrow a Jay. He's already used to dying in this game. <laughs> it was just last episode. It was like, yeah, four four times, I think. Half fights, half monsters. So one modular frame and 12 steel beams for two versatile frameworks, which are what we need. Wait, I can test this myself. Ow! Explosives is automatic five, five hit points of damage. If you count each block as a hit point, I guess, which is not quite it. But. So five blocks of health damage. I admire the sacrifices you make for science. Having played games with Mike for as long as I had, I don't admire him for anything. <laughs> what are you making over there, Ward? I'm going to muddle our production line and mix all the steel together. And send it to shipping. And then I'm going to unmix it back and receiving against my better judgment. And since I never actually figured out where the real steel production was, we're only producing, a l taking a little bit of, only taking my dinky production. All right, I overclocked the assembler putting stuff into the uh, space elevator because otherwise it's going to take like six hours. Oh, you've got to the um, versatile frameworks going directly in? I was just looking into that, seeing what we would need, but uh, here on it. I mean, if you want to bring, uh, like, eight stacks of frames over from the frame thing and put it into one of the boxes here. Where is the frame thing? It's over by quartz. Quartz it is. Okay, on the far side, gotcha. So we don't have that being transported over, we just, uh, we'll feed manual. Eight stacks. It needs... 400? I think that'll be enough. I think it's one per. Then we need another, like, 5,000 steel beams. See if we can filter that to the supply load up where the trucks are loading up. We're gonna just go back and forth and grab it, because by the time you make the truck route and everything, I probably could have delivered all of it anyways. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that would be the fastest way just for the frameworks, but I think, um, like long term, I mean. Just getting the frameworks some more more accessible long term. I think there should be gigantic uh lengths of belts. Belts, belts. stretching across the sky. Belts aren't as fun as trucks. <laughs> when do we get trains? Oh, trains. Should be next tier? They're not that far in. They're well before uh, nuclear power. We're all going to have to go for a train ride, stand on top for the first one. If you have any uh, room, you can also you can also bring some steel beams. Get your one floor up. I need to ditch a whole bunch of stuff. I like how when I look at our power, I can say, like, efficiency, our name is not. <laughs> It's like I'm fairly certain on my single player game I was making things faster with way less with only like, you know, one of these coal generation stations. 
I have made three, and we don't have enough power if everything was running. Oh yeah, didn't you try poison the poison thing's explosives on them, and it didn't work? Yeah, no, it didn't. So Ward lied to us. Let's do you use the inhalers to just be in there? No, there will be a gas mask later. Uh, I'll check out the rest research here. Research. Right. We could make wire out of caternium. Caternium. Yes. I don't think we're hurting for wire, so I think well, I'll go for the bolted iron plate. What the caternium wire does is it makes better poles that accept seven. This points. is to be able to make normal wire from caternium. Uh, well, copper can. It, it would be not terrible to have because I mean caternium is not used for anything else. Uh, I've got an alternate recipe for bolted iron plate, which produces a lot more five per minute versus our fifteen per minute with uh, less less um, less ingredients, <laughs> same ingredients but uh, less of them. So you, you could like whatever system we have, we could just switch the samplers over. We'll just pick it. I mean, we'll get everything eventually, anyways. But yeah, more bolted iron plates. Or steel plates, whatever. Head on over to frame production. Great. I stuffed the storage crate full of frames. Well, eight, eight, ten, whatever. Assembler right next to the elevators should be going full time now. And you already have overclocked it. Okay, I'm gonna go grab the next research thing. So where Ward built the steel production, there is an underground entrance right there. I don't think there was anything super useful down there. Just some unfinished early access stuff. Some oh. Sam. Yeah, and there's there's Sam right beside uh, our starting point too. Yeah. There's lots of spiders down. Who's there. Sam? I don't know. I don't know who <laughs> Sam is. And I've never gotten far enough in this game to. Uh, Discover what it's uh, useful for. Green eggs and ham. Sam, I am. <laughs> I keep thinking, oh, we're going to have to fire that up into the air at alien aircraft or something. Surface to air missiles. How's, uh, how's rifles looking like? I have no idea. We It requires uh, parts we don't even have yet. Ah, uh, gotcha. Way is it? As far as uh, explosives go, I'm uh, golden. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get rid of my rebar gun. It's like, eh, it's nice to have a ranged option, but it's not the best. Is there anything I need to work on for getting more research? Um, I've gotten a hard drive on. I haven't checked what's... Oh, I'll take a look now. Uh, nine minutes left on the uh, hard drive in there. Yep. Uh, would Mark Three power poles be useful, or are we okay for power poles? How many can they hold? Ten. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me take a look here. You're at the hub, deciding what to do next, or I'm just looking at the map and just seeing what uh, if I could gather something. I'm thinking about radar radar stuff. Just finish off that. The quartz there. Oh, we should be able to actually... Oh, actually, I'm not sure. It looks like computer chips for the rifle. Certain yeah, points. and that... Uh, and rubber. We also need rubber for the rifle, too. And rubber is what is we're Is that missing. part of circuit uh, boards? Do we need rubber for circuit boards? That should be in the next tier. Oh, for constructing them. I see what you mean. Uh, well, actually, Roughly. it's for the the ammo. The ammo uh, gotcha. if it requires it. Uh, circuit boards. I believe we can make those. Oh, actually, more. Oh no, we can only make AI limiters. Yeah, I see. Made. I see the rubber. Yeah, for the ammo. Yeah. 
I think uh, next one is finish off the radar technology under quartz. And, uh, We're getting so much advanced attack. Quartz, nutrients, sulfur. Sulfur will be the last one just because, yeah, like you said, rubber. Sulfur and succotash. I'm going to go on an adventure and find a bunch of uh, slugs in. I guess I should check what the slug under. Oh, yeah, I got lots of gas. Going to find some shotgun ammo? Yes. Lots of slugs. Actually, I went that way. Let's go this way instead. I was going to say a Japanese slug is a shrug. But then again, that sounds more like... A shrug? A, a, more like a, a, a nightly floor covering. Sir rug. Right. Maybe I should have parachute script all the time. Power slug right here. Nope, game lied to me. Underground or something? No, uh, it, it was uh, not a blue power slug, it was the uh, antennas for one of those thingies. That was a power slug, no. Do we have only one frame production spot or more, more than one of them? For frames, it's just the one spot, but it's doubled up. It's got two veins going to it, I believe. Did you guys set up two trucking routes, or just the one? Just the one so far. You only need one. It's not going in and out fast enough to warrant yeah, I just, uh, two. I just see the truck going back and forth from way up here. You need, like, a zipline gun. Three blue power slugs. Ah, ah, ah. Well, you cannot run down the tubes. <laughs> I was watching you, and it looked like you made the jump. Did you? I made it onto it, but it 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 was basically gr like grease. <laughs> it slipped right off. And then, of course, I was close enough near the bottom that it sucked me back up. What's the stator of affairs over here? Stator business. Mam research complete. Right. Let's see. Iron alloy. It's... Yeah. And yet another iron plate recipe <laughs> using wire. Yeah, none of them are really that great. Why are you there? on here? I was looking at a way to bring them back to base without carrying them by hand. This is the start of a long project. You work on that'll be the uh I'm just running them back and forth from the cheap oriental labor. I mean you could have set up a trucking route. Nah. I was like, this phase needed a lot of steel. Just that last part. And just deleting the platform. Alright, that should be enough to finish off this phase. It's risky building around these tubes. It's just like, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Oh, I'm somewhere else now. Waiting for the next phase to finish. I'm going to go play a little video game here. <laughs> Must pack that shit in. Actually, that sounds disgusting. <laughs> Get those bonus points. It looks horrible. Stuck another uh, speed up in the uh, assemblers here. Get those bonus points and ship it out. It doesn't have to fit perfectly. It just has to work, right? As long as it fit, it works. Fits, it works. Wait. Yeah. That came out wrong. Or did it? Yeah, bonus points. Everyone's like hard at work doing stuff, and I'm sitting here playing a fucking video game inside of a video I'm game. I'm looking at uh, yo dog. Stuff. I hear you like video games. I'm looking at the stuff you can get with uh, coupons. Oh, not quite two thousand points. I'll put some concrete in the awesome sink. This thing takes just about anything. He <laughs> points. You already started making a conveyor down from. I put a, you know, a few ramps in on one side for the loading, the docking station for the tractors. Yeah, I'm getting close, and then now I'm trying to figure out which route to take to get down there. I've got a platform set up over here already. Oh, nice. 
Jason, you broke away from the grid. What the hell? Or Jay, what the hell? I started down there. <laughs> this, this is unacceptable. What happened? Well, it's what you're going to have to work with. Jay did. We went off the grid. It's like 20 degrees off. Uh... Okay, can I Can I send it? Can I press the thing? Oh, that was fast. I'm going to press this thing Send and it. seal it. We're going to club a seal to get a better deal. And off it goes. Oh, now we need 2,500 of those. Well, they can keep getting... <laughs> they can keep going. I mean, we've got lots more stuff to worry about. Okay, here, what yeah, are we It's going to take, what, 30,000 steel beams? Oil processing. Yeah, that's what we need. That's going to unlock the rubber, plastic, and the circuit boards we need. Well, you better start it then. We'll get some of that deposited. Uh, I'll put it in the copper sheets because I'm pretty sure we have one right around here somewhere. Done. All right, never mind. <laughs> it's one of the 50. No, just motors. Out of rebellion, I didn't take your wrap. I set it down a different path. Oh, really? I just actually made it. I fixed it, if you can see. I see. I also ran out of steel beams for the conveyor, so I had to that's, start shortcutting. That's always what you want to hear from your engineer, right? Hey, look, I saw that you had a better way of doing it, so just despite you, I did it, you know, dumb. Yeah, that that is my day-to-day. <laughs> See, let's be... <laughs> Let's be fair, that's my day to day whenever I play with Mike too, so <laughs> Well, to be fair, I don't even don't even uh, you know try to do the right thing in the first place. Do we have motors being crafted anywhere? Being crafted, but uh if there's some uh staters I can handcraft the motors, then it'll be done. Alright. Then I'll go start oil production. That's what I'll do. So I'll have to go find it. Then we'll be able to continue down a bunch of these other trees here. What else do we have in this tier as well? What have we got? So we got industrial manufacturing, which is four things to get crafted into one. Trucks. Ooh, trucks will be awesome. Uh, computers, modular engines, adopt adaptive control units, which is one of the things we need, as well as modular engines. So probably do that next. Alternative fluid transport. Okay, the packager is the one that uh, takes in items and fluids. It also makes the liquid uh, biofuels and stuff like that. Oh, gas mask. We can build gas masks, fuel generators, so uh, expanded power. Is that a set and forget as well? Uh, by the looks of it. Do you know what? Tied with fuel. What was the question? Fuel generators. Are they set? They're and forget? set and forget, right? Gonna go with yes. Oh, well, my personal favorite jetpack. <laughs> monorail train technology that'll be huge pipeline engineering mark 2 so mark 2 pipelines so like liquid pipes or the uh yeah the transport tubes liquid <laughs> faster pipes. transport tubes <laughs> i'm not sure if you notice but as you go through this long tube back to the space elevator in the middle of a tree there's like one foundation just sitting in the air <laughs> well i gotta go fix that then I took out the rest of the foundations because it looks stupid going through the sky. Alright, this is heading out. Closest crude oil is well past our steel production. So I mean, that's where I'm headed. Probably bring up... Uh... Can we make black powder yet? There's already a ton of it being made. Alright, is there like... A spot being made for it, or have you just been like handcrafting it? No, there's a spot being made for it. It's right beside the uh, trucks. Okay. The middle of the map trucking station. Oh, is there a bunch of frames going not the way to the base? Mm, they should be going towards the base. Where you 
bringing him up here for some... Oh, the, the rest of the conveyor didn't load, that's why. Ah, uh, good. I was concerned. It's 50-50 whether my plan was working or not, so... Alrighty, looks like that's where I need to go. Alright, I'm going to do some research. Expanded tool belt. I have enough for the next uh, pocket dimension too, which will help. More blue flower shadows. Ooh, the place where I found oil, there's three nodes here. Going on here. Awesome sink. We already have one, don't we? Yeah. So I'm preparing. I've oh, automated preparing the overflow trucking, so it sorts. And now I'm preparing for the inevitable mistake where it overflows. And it'll overflow into the sink. What overflows? He's got Our uh, truck wards, like a whole bunch of different things coming in. They get filtered into their boxes, but uh, eventually it's going to get stuck, right? Because I would rather it, uh, with that much stuff, I'd rather it stop than go to an overflow. Otherwise, it's going to be a big power loss. Damn. I mean, that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> you put that into words that I never could. Tool belt. And let's also go for expanding our pocket dimension. So yes, Mike, we do have a ticking time bomb here. Get rid of it. That's that's not how bombs work, Tom. Uh, you're asking the expert on using explosives in video games? You have to wait and watch until it blows up in your face. No, you can let it blow up in somebody else's. <laughs> that's <laughs> exactly what I'm doing. Do we have any of the court stuff coming back to base? No. Wouldn't because there's nothing going into the other uh, what do they call that machine again awesome sink wouldn't it be just more beneficial to get rid of the other one and move it there then that that would be improving the situation and I'm a big and, fan and who, of who, who the fuck does that right You just got to keep on expanding and let past mistakes sit where they lie. Okay, we have automated production of those frames at five per minute, which is a few minutes to hit 2,500. So going to let that sit on the back burner, I guess. Oh, I should probably get going here. Yeah, take care, G. Oh, I'll see you guys. I got to try and get to my corpse. Of course, right where all the oil was is a couple of those big uh, fire shooter dudes. All right, let's find where I J logged off and build a thing around him. Mam research complete. <laughs> Mammary research complete. Pocket dimension is complete. I take it you're out exploring and producing oil. I'm dying and trying to get my stuff back. Gotta pick up some copper shits. That sounds gross, imagine if you had the copper shits. Uh, copper shits. Uh, did we start motor production anywhere or no? No. I just handcrafted the ones that we needed so far. I will start on that. All right, I'll go and do some more research. Terrium, right? There we go power switch. Oh, we got a lot of research like completely done. Or does more get added eventually? No, those trees are what you see is what there is. So what kind of explosives can you make here, Mike? It's like a C4 stick. Why? That's one where it's like, oh no, those guys that blow fire just chuck a thick thing of dynamite at them. I wish it, it was that simple. Bomb. But it, it's uh, too lengthy of a time to... Because you have to reload your hand. Reloading your hand sounds like a jerk-off joke. Was it a lot of stuff to build all those uh, oil derricks? 
I don't know, I'm still stretching power out here. I guess I should have looked at that and made sure I have everything, but... If I stretch power out here, I can build uh, tubes going back. Good plan. Well, extractors need motors, so yeah, I need to go back. Oh, I might have the parts to just craft motors. Copper, steel... Unless you have a pile of stratters with you. I got lots of base materials with me. I think steel pipe might be the hardest one to get for that. I've got a lot of steel pipe because you need it for making the... Uh, oh, yeah. Hyper tubes all over the place. I understand. Mam research complete. I am going to build the thing back and just get parts. This will take forever. Have we bought signs from the sink shop yet? No, we can probably go ahead and do that, too. I think there were seven coupons last I looked. So I'm going through the tubes. There's something below me. <laughs> below me. What tubes? When I go through the uh, transport, it looks like there's something following underneath me. Yeah, it's your boots. <laughs> What's going on here? Motors? Welcome to motor production. Not gonna make many motors. Alright, that last research takes rubber. Yeah, you're, the, the steel beams aren't being crafted fast enough over here. We've got like zero of those uh, industrial beams. Yeah. Um, there's just, yeah, trickle production on those. Need a lot more steel. not taking steel beams from the storage here, are you? No, it's the ones being crafted here in uh, the uh, highly efficiently inefficient system. Um, yeah, all steel beams are stored here now. For better or worse. Sorry, no. I never pulled the steel beams from your far storage. So we could use those to speed up the beam production. Well, it's just there's lots going into the pipes, but you got the pipes going right into a sink. Nothing's going into the sink. Things. Okay. It only goes into a sink if the entire box is completely full. Because there's a filter on it. Yeah, it'll only waste them if we have a massive stockpile or I made a mistake. I don't know. When I looked at it, it the logic looked good. Yeah. I'm flattered. We have trickle production on the motors now. The research that requires 100 motors. Or we should also set the next milestone. <laughs> but do you buy it in the awesome shop and then you just get to craft it? Or is it just like a one-time buy? Uh, so it gives you the recipe to craft it. There are some things that it's just a one-time buy if you buy, uh... Alright, what do we do here? Do we do industrial manufacturing for all those different parts, like the truck? Do we do alternative, uh... That or power? Fuel? Gas mask? Oh, I guess we can't do gas mask yet, no? Well, it all requires plastic. Expanded power infrastructure. So you expanded power? Yeah, either expanded power or the trucks. Expanded power. Like how you put a Mark II miner in here, and then put all Mark I belts afterwards. Where at? The pure iron going to the steel production. I think I got distracted when it came to upgrading. You mean my steel production or Ward's? Ward's. Oh, mine. Oh. <laughs> This game has a wonderful natural synergy with ADHD. So it uh, sounds like we could really uh, duplicate our steel production over here if we uh, just finished what was started. Hey, Ward, are you busy around here? Ooh, I was just ignored. Say what? <laughs> I said, are you busy around this area? Um, yes, and well, let's go with a no. All right, help me find where uh, Jay is at so I can build a house around him. Ah, I understand. He should be up near the quartz, I think. 
Uh, when he logged up, his indicator was closer to base, I think. Closer to base. Got it. I'll start working back towards that way. Also, I just siphoned off your steel stockpile to feed it into the shit show conveyor. As long as it's not being consumed here, because we need to stockpile the steel. It's got the full industrial size container stockpile at the base. That's it. And then being turned into encased beams and frames and everything. So all of it's going to work somewhere, somehow. Okay, so you have steel beams coming from the big steel production too, so I'm going to turn off this one. Uh, don't consume the steel beams yet. Because it looks like they're going to go straight into using used for something else. I don't know what. You, you're turning off the steel, to, uh, Mike? No. This This one here I am. Because it's taking steel from the things that are running anemically. Okay, that, I see what the steam is. The steel beam is actually that, making the versatile framework. It's okay. No, that's, that's fine. That's our framework, Mike. That feeds the frameworks. It's going straight to... No, this is going straight to the trucks. And the trucks take it to make the frameworks. The steel's coming from a different place as well. Why, t why take it from a place that's barely running... Like, barely running when we need it for other stuff to feed something that's being fed already. But I just add that fed, and I subsidize this one with the other feed. I'm just having a panic attack that you deleted something. The answer is always build more, never delete. Well, in the entirety of this episode, this uh, the steel encased beams, we've made like 20. There we go. Look at the steel being fed in the system now. Encased industrial beam? Yeah. Yeah, no, we need more of those, definitely. How dare you take credit for that? That was my work that fed all that in quickly. Technically, wouldn't it be Jason's, because he was the one who made the steel beams uh, from that other spot? Well, I, I don't want to admit that. That I just took his stockpile and attached a conveyor to it. Sweet, now I can speed this up. There we go. Got it. Pumping 12 per minute now. Okay, now come grab some motors. It's a top shelf storage back at base. Okay. It's where they should be stockpiled. Expanded power infrastructure. Okay, rubber. So I need to get the oil online first. Okay, I should have enough parts to get going there. Did you find Jay? Nope. Should we get one more research done and then I'll start looking for Jay? Sorry, I stopped searching for Jay. I had to defend my steel production line. Its efficiency was questioned. Speaking of inefficiency, this uh, quartz setup that uh, Jay's got set up. <laughs> quartz isn't very important, so... It's stockpiled for later, that's yeah, for like... sure. These uh, these two assemblers require sixty per per, uh, per minute. Better bring in two hundred forty. <laughs> oh, that's just future proofing. Yes, radar technology. Sweet. Done. I can also do radio signal scanning. I just need a hundred motors for that. The rest of it takes plastic or uh, circuits or rubber. But we're almost done all the research. Steel ingot production over here has been doubled now to match the Mach 2 miner. I forgot to grab concrete while it was back last. Well, I have no idea where Jay is. He probably ran and hid. Here? Yeah, he probably did. <laughs> Just messaging on his phone. It's like, Jay, where'd you log off asking for a friend? <laughs> Which, I mean, technically you are. Where's concrete going to storage? The refineries you can make now, or how you can uh, make the better copper and uh, iron as well? If you have a water source nearby. My color here? Okay, I'm just about done this hypertube system. Sounds good. Just no, finished. No sign just, of Jay, so no free house for him. Hmm. Just finished the 
upgrading from the minor Mach 2 that I forgot about at the end of the last one. There we go. Hypertube system built. Yeah, I thought Jay's thing was, was pointed over in this direction when I checked, but I guess not. He's not over by where you're making steel. Yeah, he should have been at his courts just after it. I mean, of course, he, quartz he was. There we go. I got a good spot to log out to. Gonna log out where it's too inconvenient to box me in. <laughs> That's not a challenge. Please don't take it as a challenge. <laughs> it's like, challenge accepted. And I don't see Jay over by the quartz. They need an offline player locator. <laughs> Wait, we have the map, don't we? Yeah, but it doesn't show Jay on it once oh. he's logged off. Jeez, what was the point of that research then? <laughs> I know, right? Okay, I'm locked out. Quick, build a house around Ward. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess next time we have to ramp up even more steel production. And oil. And oil. Thanks for watching! Thanks for watching, everybody! Thank you! God damn, where is Jay at? Hey folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, share, and comment. You can click on the left button to subscribe, and the right one to watch more Satisfactory. Thanks for watching.